so here talking about the suffer the second month of the lunar calendar there are many misconception prevalent among the people regarding this month many misconception uh, on one hand bad lucks and omens have been associated with this month and on the other hand self made solution for such things have been proposed as well as uh, such as not holding marriages in this month uh, suffer boiling chickpeas and distributing them so that that bad omen are passed on to others making 365 balls of flour and throwing them in the water so that the bad omens are driven away and provision is increased and some people they recite suratul muzammil 313 times considering this month to be hard for the uh, dead and considering the 13 of this month referred to as tera tezi to be unlucky these are all not correct these are all baseless and culturally they are doing it don't think we have to do this no these are uh, incorrect ways all such superstitions and beliefs have no basis in islam whatsoever how can any day or month be lucky or be a potent of bad omen when in fact month and years are formed by the alteration of day and night and allah subhanahu wa taala has made day and night as a sign and to help us make the calendar as allah subhanahu wa taala explains suratul isra aya number 12 sura number 17 inshallah we'll see that also before that let me uh, clear few things these are the misconception rega- regarding bad luck and they are doing the things uh, making the balls and throwing in the water and uh, reciting suratul muzammil all these things are not recognized it's not in the sunna let me tell you again these are incorrect ways but people are doing it they are thinking that that is right that is not right that is incorrect ways so when we talk about it and uh, allah subhanahu wa taala mentions suratul isra surah number 17 and aya number 12 what allah subhanahu wa taala says in this aya and we have appointed day and night as two signs let me read the aya for you wa ja'alna al-layla wa nahara ja'alna meet Layla means night, Nahara means day. Aya ta'in tasmiya, two signs. Then we have obliterated the signs of the night with the darkness, while we have made the sign of the day illuminating. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is mentioning here how the day and night are. So here, uh, he, talking about the uh, Aya ta'in, fa mahuna Aya ta. ليلا وجعلنا آيات النحارة مبصرة من سكير فدعلنا فضلا من ربكم ولتعلموا عدد سنين وحساب وكل شيء فضلنا تبديلا. This is in Surah Al-Isra, Ayah number twelve. Why I read the ayah because I want to make sure, like you know, you take the things in a right way. So when Allah سبحانه وتعالى clearly says we have appointed night and day as two signs then we have obliterated the signs of the night with darkness while we have made the signs of the day illuminating you know if you see the day it is illuminating that you may seek bounty from your lord like you know day time you go for work and you do the work so the bounty fadl that you may know the number of years sinina number of years and the reckoning you know how the days change into the month month changes into into the year that is the reckoning and we have explained fadalna ha tabdila everything in detail with full explanation so allah subhanahu wa taala has also told us the purpose of different stages of the moon 
it help us to mark the beginning and end of the month and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also told us there are 12 months he says they ask you muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the new moon these are signs to be marked fixed period of time for mankind and for pilgrimage surah al baqara surah number 2 ayah number 189 when we say surah al baqara ayah number 189 it talks about like when they like the, the months and years allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly saying these are the uh, like this is for the time to know what, like uh, what are the things we are doing and uh, years pass by days pass by so yes aluna ka anil ahilla they ask you about the new moon kul hiya mawaqit mawaqit is from waqt they ask you muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the new moon say these are the signs to mark you know kul hiya mawaqit is from waqt lin nasi for the people this is the for the people wal hajj wa laysa birru bi anna ta'tu buyuta min zuhuriha walakin al birra min at taqwa wa atu buyuti like you know later on it talks about the hajj rituals of the hajj min abwabiha wa taqullaha la allakum tuflihun so these are the signs to mark fixed period of time and for the pilgrimage so this is the thing mentioned and here when we see surah tauba here in that it's clearly mentioned surah tauba ayah number 36 many time when new calendar and the in the month of the uh, forbidden months there there also we have refer this ayah inna iddata shuhuri indallahi here talks about really the number of months with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is 12 ashara shahra fi kitab allah yawm khalaq as samawati wal ard so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly saying there are 12 months ordained by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and on the day when he created the heaven and the earth samawati wal ard min ha arbatun hurum arbatun hurum in that we have seen like you know uh, how many months are um, sacred four months are sacred but here not we are looking for the sacred we are looking for in context to what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention those uh, are for the 12 months and uh, like heaven and earth is the the number of months and now here later on we see uh, talks about uh, muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said the son of adam hurts me for he abuses time though i am time in my hands are all things i cause the revolution of day and night this is in bukhari so we should never ever curse the time never curse the time because this is a authentic narration in bukhari so it is very clear that day and night is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala considering any time hour day month or year to be unlucky is a great misconception and a sin what is the historical perspective actually the arabs used to hold three months of zil qada zil hajj and muharram as a sacred they did not indulge in war or crime during this month they used to wait for this month to be over so that they can be free from this restriction and indulge in robbery theft and war because these three months they they uh, keep the respect and they keep it sacred after that they indulge in bad things like robbery theft and war therefore as soon as the muharram used to be over and safar began they would leave their houses vacant with the intent of crime what they they will do theft robbery and war the idiom safar al makan meaning empty house became famous what does it mean safar al makan makan means we know house right in urdu safar meaning empty house became famous the word safrun or sifrun means to become vacant safrun or sifrun to become vacant like the saying in arabic sifrun min al mata which means the house were vacated from its furniture things etc what does it mean sifrul min al mata which means the house were vacated from its furniture things etc lisanul arb 
as bin mansoor in volume uh, 4 page 462 to 463 the famous hadith scholar and historian sakwi has wrote famous book al mashur fil asmi al ilyam wal ashur that this was the reason for naming of this month as safar when arabs saw that during this month many crimes were committed people killed Houses emptied, they associated bad omens and ill fate with this month. Instead of looking at their own evil deeds and wrongdoing, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told that every person is responsible for his own omen and fate. Surah Al Isra, ayah number 13. For every person we have imposed his fate upon his neck. We will produce for him on the day of resurrection, which will encounter spread open. So, Surah Al Isra, Surah number 17 and Ayah number 13. So, in this Surah number 17 and Ayah number 13, here Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned, like every person he or she is responsible for oneself. So, here let me read the Ayah for you. It ta it talks about. وَكُلُّ إِنسَانٍ أَلْزَمْنَاهُ طَائِرَهُ We have tied every human being its fortune to his neck. طَائِرَهُ فِي أُنُقِهِ وَنُخْرِجُ لَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كِتَابًا يَلْقَاهُ مَنْشُورًا So what will happen on the day of restriction? We will bring forth a book. وَنُخْرِجَ is from Qaraja. It will take out يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ On the day of Qiyamah, Kitaban is a book. Yalqaha, Yalqaha here talks about, you know, uh, open, wide open. What book is wide open? Manshura, wide open. Yalqa, opening and wide open. This is uh, Amal Nama. This is book of deeds. Book of deeds will be wide open because whatever you did, it is tied to your neck. Whether you are doing good or bad, you are the one who is responsible. So it is commonly believed that bad omens come from external sources, which is why man tends to blame either some other person or animal or an object. You know, people, they, they have this kind of tendency in their mind and heart. They start blaming the things, you know. So this is commonly they blame or an object, a day or a month or a number where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through this ayah has made it very clear that every man, omen and bad luck is due to his own misdeeds and wrongdoing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further says in Quran, what comes to you of good is from Allah. What comes to you of evil, O man, from yourself. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there and then again and again in Quran, it clearly says surah number 4, that is, Surah An-Nisa in Ayah number 79, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ma asabaka min hasanatin faminallah. Whatever good comes to you, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, faminallah. And wa ma asabaka min sayyatin faman nafsika. So if and whatever the evil comes to you, it is from your own self, nafsika. وَأَرْسَلْنَاكَ لِلنَّاسِ رَسُولًا وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا We have sent to uh, you a messenger for the people. Allah is enough to be a witness. So, uh, notice the first half ayah. What it talks about. مَا أَسَابَكَ مِنْ حَسَنَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ Whatever the hasna, whatever the good is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا أَسَابَكَ مِنْ سَيَّةٍ Whatever sayyat, whatever the evil or bad. Why it is famin nafsika? It is your own nafs. It is own yourself. So superstition is shirk. Note down this thing. Superstition. And these days people, they talk about so much superstition. It's particular day, particular time. This we should do with this we shouldn't do, do so on and so forth. A man leave his house on the way a black cat crosses his path. He thinks this is a bad omen. Therefore returns back home. Though this seems to be such a minor act. However, in reality, it really means when he thinks that the black cat has the power and authority to change the man's fate. This is a shirk because it means that other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the cat also has control and authority over a person and to bring harm to him, nausbillah, astaghfirullah. 
other common superstitions i'm just giving an example there are so many superstitious beliefs prevalent in our society are seeing some someone dislikes in the morning means the whole day will be full of bad luck they say oh i saw that particular person because of that is a manhos he's a bad luck now you know i'm having a bad bad day and sometimes they say oh my eyes is twitching one of the eyes twitching means bad luck and evil potent itching in the right palm means oh i'm going to have lot of money this is all incorrect it has no basis if one shoes come on the top of the another it means oh we're going to have the journey taking omens from the color such as black black means illness will strike or color of the dome of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam masjid green so we think oh we should respect the green green is good but black is the color of the kaaba how can you say that it is bad luck or good luck or not wearing green color uh, shoes due to the respect because green is the color of the dome of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but islam does it say anything like you should wear black you shouldn't wear green does it say anything so no holding such beliefs not only led man to take, to make halal things haram on himself but led him to associate fate and destiny with these things uh, and uh, which is not only a great misguidance dalalat but a great sin shirk because no one other than allah has the power and control over man's fate all things from which good or bad portents are derive are nothing but creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who have no control over other creation prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said this is in sunan abi daud taking omens is shirk taking omens is shirk taking omens is shirk he repeated this three times every one of us has some superstition but allah removes it by the trust in him have tawakkul on allah he also said a person who drive bad luck from something and refrain from doing that what he was intended do, to do he has committed shit the companion asked him what would be its expiation the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he should say oh allah there is no potent other than your potent no goodness other than your goodness none worthy of worship other than you this is in musnad ahmad so don't think anything good luck or bad luck doing particular day particular time no there is nothing in the islam being muslim we should have complete tawakkul on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala complete faith and believe from our heart from our qalb that is only allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has power over us the arabs used to hold three months of zilqada zilhijja and muharram as sacred they did not indulge in war or crime during this months they used to wait for this months to be over so that they can be from this uh, free from this restriction indulge in robbery theft and war therefore as soon as the muharram used to be over and safar began they would leave their house weekend with the intent of crime theft robbery and war the idiom safar al malkan mean being a uh, means empty house became famous the word safrun or sifrun means to become vacant like the saying in arabic sifrun min al mata which means the house where vacant from its furniture things lisanul arab as bin mansur said the famous hadith scholars and historians and saqafi has written in his famous book al mashhur fil asmi al aim well sure that he was the reason for naming of this month as safar when arab saw that uh, during this month many crimes were committed people kill houses empty they associate bad omens ill fate with this month instead of looking at their own evil deeds and wrong doings where as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us that every person is responsible for his own omen and fate where we learn in surah al isra and surah al isra ayah number 13 for every person we have imposed his fate upon his neck and we will produce for him on the day of resurrection a record which is wide spread open like everybody could see your record so it is commonly believed that omen comes from external sources which is why man tends to blame either some other person or animal or or an object a day or a month or number whereas allah subhanahu wa taala through ayas made it clear that every man's omen bad luck is due to his own misdeed and wrong doing 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further says in Quran, Surah number 4, number 79, What comes to your good is from Allah. And whatever comes to you evil, O oh man, is from yourself. So whatever good is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and whatever the evil is from our own selves, whatever we uh, doing ma sabaka min hasanatim fa min Allah wa ma asabaka min sayyatim fa min nafsika wa arsalna kalin nasi rasulan wa kafa billahi shahida. So whatever the bad omens, whatever the misconception of the suffer, there is no such thing, there is no authentic um, narration regarding that. It's completely a superstition and it's a shirk. And uh, all this historical perspective we have seen because they were uh, keeping the month Zilqada, Zilhajja and Muharram sacred and after that they start robbering after the month of Muharram and that's the thing. And now uh, Asian countries, many people, they um, boil the chickpeas and put in the water. All this is a you know problem in your aqeedah there is no such thing and some people they recite surah al muzammil 300 and times there is no such thing and people celebrate tera tezi there is no such thing i repeat again we should overcome with this these are the things that are done culturally once again i repeat these are done culturally there is no authenticity of that may allah save us all from such kind of disbelief this is one of the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah clearly says in authentic narration uh, narrated by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like don't say the time is bad luck or good luck. There is nothing like time. Don't curse the time. Never ever Allah don't, don't like cursing the time. Jazakallah khairan kaseera subhanaka Allahumma bihamdika nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka nastaghfiruka natublik. Please do subscribe my channel. Quran for all bayan. Bayan are in Urdu and English. Jazakallah khairan kaseera.